Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Pomona TV News. Now like the title says on this video, who is running code enforcement? Well, I was talking to an individual and he's been trying to get this business to clean up his lot. Now I'm going to go ahead and post some pictures up so you can check out what, we're, what I'm going to be talking about. Okay? Hold on, let me post those pictures up. Now, before I uh, <clears throat> get started, I want to tell you right off the bat that code enforcement uh, is not does not run by the Pomona Police Department. It is run by City Hall. Now, now you see those pictures. Now, code enforcement says that anything that's used for storage, the fence has got to be at least six feet high. And you got to have a cover all the way around it so you can't see the mess that you got behind your fence. Okay. Now, this individual told me that he complained and called code enforcement the end of December, and it's already going on four months, and this individual still hasn't cleaned up his, uh, his lot or put a cover on his fence. Now, here's the kicker. This individual is really good friends with Mayor Rothman. Uh, Mayor Rothman even goes as far as calling it the Godfather, and they're not even related. And they both belong to the Masonic Lodge. Now, this is one way of Rothman protecting his friends but getting ticketed for violations on their property. Now, we can't, you know, he can't say that this has actually happened, but during these last three months, it's only obvious of what's going on. Because you and I have noticed that when code enforcement comes around and tells somebody you've got to clean up your yacht or put a cover on it, Heck, they have it done by a month, or they get fined if they don't, or whatever they do. I know they get something fined or something if they don't take care of it. So, like I said, this has been going on three months. I look at it, look at those pictures, and you can see the mess. Pallets. He's got parts of uh, his business back there being stored. He's got that van parked there. Like I said, this fence at least has to be six feet high you got to put a cover around it or get rid of all that junk. And look how high he's got those pallets stacked up above the six foot limit. You can see it from the street. You can go by. You can see it from Oak Street. You can see it from Second Street. It's just a mess. It's an eyesore. And, you know, like I said, if code enforcement sees a mess, they make you cover it up or get rid of it. And, like I said, it's already going on four months that uh, this individual's been getting away with it. So he walks around like thinking he's above the law. You know, his buddy, his best friend is Mayor Rothman, Mayor Mucci. And uh, he doesn't have to do anything. He's above the law. So anyway, just like I said, I'm just passing this, passing this along. Maybe it might, there's other people out there who might be going with the same problem with code enforcement. But like I said, Rothman's got somebody in there in code enforcement that all he has to do is snap his fingers and then they go over there and say, ah, nothing wrong with this lot. As a matter of fact, that's what he told me. He said he called up code enforcement and they said they didn't find any violations. Rothman at it again, that turkey. So anyway, who is running code enforcement? Is it the mayor? Or is it the people that's supposed to be running code enforcement? So like I said, mayor just snaps his fingers and says, go take care of it. Or don't write any violations up. I can't believe that that individual told this person that there was no violations. Take a look at that junk. And if anybody else had that, then make them cover it up. Okay? But I thought I'd just pass this along, what's going on with uh, downtown City Hall. You know, Rothman and his buddies his cronies, we got to get this guy out of office. Or this is just going to continue. And you could be the next victim of Rothman's co-enforcement. So anyway, like I said, I thought I'd just give you uh, thought I'd just give you an idea of what's going on over here on uh, West 2nd Street. And it's a shame that uh, we got this individual that thinks he's above the law 
and he got, doesn't have to do crap. Uh -huh. And because his buddy is uh, Mayor Rothman, who's got his back, and he doesn't have to do, pay any violations for his mask. So that's Rothman at work. So, anyway, okay. And like always, you take care, and you take care of those ones you love. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.